Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. We will see the topic that is discussed in this video. We are continuing class 11 chemistry, classification of elements and periodic properties. Periodic properties part 4. Under that we will discuss ionic radius. What is an ion? How are ions formed? How ionic radius is estimated? What is the trend of ionic radius across the period and down the group? Now, ionic radius of isoelectronic species. This topic is also very important. Questions are asked from this. Don't skip the video. Watch the video completely so that you get all points clear. And if you think the video is useful, do like the video, share the video with your friends and also leave your feedbacks. Very important. Your feedbacks are very important. Leave it in the comment box below. If you have not yet subscribed my channel, do subscribe it now and support me. Press the bell button and all buttons so that you get intimated as soon as new videos are posted. Thank you very much. Come, let us start the class right away. Periodic Properties Part 4 Ionic Radius That is, Trend of Ionic Radius In the previous video, we have already discussed Trend of Atomic Radius. Now, we will discuss Periodic Trend of Ionic Radius. You have already learnt in your smaller classes that ions are formed when the neutral atom loses or gains electrons. The ionic size is represented in terms of ionic radius. In ionic crystals, say for example sodium chloride, the chlorine atom gains one electron and becomes the chloride ion which is negatively charged. Negatively charged ions are called anions. From where does this chlorine atom get the extra electron? It is from the sodium atom. So the sodium atom loses one electron and becomes the cation. That is sodium plus ion. You can see the cation is smaller than anion. In ionic compounds, the atomic orbitals of the participating atoms do not overlap while forming the bond and the ions formed are of different sizes then how do we determine the ionic radius in the ionic compound say for example the same example sodium chloride the sodium ion and chloride ion remain close by but their sizes are different remember the internuclear distance between the nuclei of the cation and the anion can be determined but unlike in the case of determining the covalent radius, the half of this distance does not give the ionic radius because the cation is smaller than the anion. In the case of sodium chloride molecule, the internuclear distance between the two ions is 276 picometer. But unless the value of the ionic radius of any one of the ions is known, the ionic radius of the other ion cannot be determined. Several methods are used by scientists in order to find the absolute value of the ionic radius of the ions in the ionic compound. Pauling's method is the widely accepted method and by applying this method, it was found that the sodium ion had an ionic radius of 95 picometer. That is, the distance from the center of the nucleus of the cation to the boundary of the electron cloud up to which the nuclear effect is experienced. That is, this distance, the distance between the red and the green dotted line. That is, the radius of the cation equal to 95 picometer. So, now we have two values, the internuclear distance in the case of sodium chloride molecule and the ionic radius of sodium ion. Now, we can easily determine the radius of chloride ion. Internuclear distance 276 minus radius of cation 95. That will be equal to 181 picometer. That is the radius of the chloride ion that is anion in this case. From the ionic radius of sodium, we can also determine the ionic radius of bromine, iodine, etc. from their respective ionic compound with sodium, that is sodium bromide, sodium iodide, etc. We have to follow the same procedure. Similarly, 
if we know the ionic radius of chlorine atom that is chloride ion you can also determine the ionic radius of certain metal ions like lithium sodium potassium beryllium magnesium calcium etc by the same procedure that is the internuclear distance of the chlorides of these metals are first determined and from that the ionic radius of chloride ion is deducted and then you get the ionic radius of the corresponding metal now we will define ionic radius ionic radius is the effective distance from the center of the nucleus of the ion up to which it exerts its influence on the electron cloud this is the nucleus of the sodium ion this is the boundary of the electron cloud of the sodium ion the nucleus can exert its force up to that limit only similarly for the chloride ion as well we have to see the trend of ionic radius across the period and down the group but before that we will just compare the atomic and ionic radii of different atoms and then pass on to trend of ionic radius down the group i have already prepared a table name of the element size of the atom size of the cation lithium atomic size 152 picometer ion 60 picometer sodium 186 and ion 95 potassium atom 231 ion 133 rubidium atom 244 and ion 149 cesium atom 262 and ion 170 please remember all these values are in picometer from these values it is crystal clear that the cation size is much smaller than the atomic size we can also understand that down the group the atomic size increases so also the ionic size that is the cation size also increases down the group hope you remember the reason the reason is that down the group the number of principal quantum is also increasing that is the number of shells also increase down the group we have considered the first group here that is alkali metals i have already explained the reason for the reduction in the size of the cation when compared with the size of the corresponding atom this is because the nuclear charge remains the same but the number of electrons gets reduced so nuclear attraction increases now let us see the trend of anion size down the group for this we will consider the 17th group that is halogens fluorine atom 72 fluorine ion 136 chlorine atom 99 chlorine ion 189 bromine atom 114 bromine ion 196 iodine atom 133 iodine ion 219 these readings are also in picometer you can easily understand that the the size of the anion is greater than the size of the corresponding atom in the case of the anion the nuclear charge remains the same but the number of electrons increase so that the electronic repulsion overweighs nuclear attraction so the anion size is greater than that of the atom in the case of anion also the anion size increases down the group because the number of shells increases so we find that the ionic trend down the group is similar to the trend of covalent radius what is the trend of ionic radius across the period that is as we move from left to right for metals the ionic radius decreases from left to right that is similar to the atomic radius in the case of non metals the ions formed are anions the anion is bigger than the corresponding atom but remember in general the atomic size decreases across the period therefore the anion size also decreases across the period so within the period the metals will show a decrease in the ionic radius but with non metals there will be 
first an increase in the ionic radius and then it will decrease consider the corresponding ions in the second period lithium 1 plus beryllium 2 plus boron 3 plus nitrogen 3 minus oxygen 2 minus and fluorine 1 minus the cation size decreases from lithium to boron from nitrogen onwards it is non metals the ionic size increases for nitrogen then for oxygen and fluorine it decreases hope these points are quite clear so we find here that the trend of ionic radius is just the same as the trend of atomic radius now let us see how the ionic radius varies in isoelectronic species what are isoelectronic species Isoelectronic species are ions or neutral atoms having the same number of electrons. We will analyze this table that is provided here. This table contains a few isoelectronic species. A few of them are negative ions and a few positive ions and also one neutral atom. Their nuclear charge, number of electrons and the nuclear charge electron ratio and their corresponding ionic radii are provided here. Under the first column ion, I have included a neutral atom. This is only to help you understand that isoelectronic species can include neutral atoms as well. The criteria considered is only the number of electrons. You can easily understand from the chart that all these species have the same number of electrons equal to 10. So, all of them irrespective of their charge are isoelectronic. Down the list, the atomic number that is nuclear charge goes on increasing. The nuclear charge electron ratio also goes on increasing down the list. Note the ionic radius. The ionic radius goes on decreasing. So, as the nuclear charge electron ratio increases, the ionic radius decreases. They are inversely proportional. So, if you are asked to arrange a few isoelectronic species in the increasing order of their ionic size, ionic radii are not given only the atomic number is given. You have to first calculate their nuclear charge electron ratio. Those members having the greatest value of ZE ratio will be having the least ionic size. Arrangement in the increasing order means you have to start from the species having the least size of the ion. Now, we will arrange these isoelectronic species in the increasing order of their ionic size. From the ZE value and also the value of ionic radius that is given. Aluminium 3 plus has the least ionic size. So, we start from that. Aluminium 3 plus less than magnesium 2 plus less than sodium plus less than fluorine negative less than O2 negative less than nitrogen 3 negative. Neon is omitted here because it is not an ion. A neutral atom is given. So, for isoelectronic species, as the nuclear charge increases, the ionic radius decreases. If you think the video was useful, do like the video, share the video with your friends and also leave your feedbacks as comments in the comment box below. If you have not yet subscribed my channel, do subscribe it now and support me. Please leave your feedbacks as comments in the comment box below. Also share it with your friends so that they may also be benefited. We will meet in the next video with another important topic like this. Till then, bye. Take care. Thank you very much.